More bites here than on the dike. Caught anything? I'll say. A basket of fresh fish. How about a taste? I might have some fried perch left. Farewell. The day is nigh when we shall sit by the water lords. Who stands above the lords? Hagal Malku Galag. May the dry lands be cursed. Into I like the missing boy. Thank you for searching. Don't mention it. The lords say gratitude leads to the kingdom of the deep. Accept 100 orans as proof of my gratitude. I accept and will use it well. A gift is a blessing from the giver. Take this coin as a blessing from me. Thank you. Farewell. The Water Lords and I. Kogstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the tower's mage and its sentry. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp, an apprentice his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. But the end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who was the woman? Unimportant. I'm listening. Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. He illustrated a future event on each card. And? Golems guarded the mage's dwelling. Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is the guard? Yes, the most powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. <sighs> Swamp. We'll die here. The pie's laughable. Shut up. The Order of the Flaming Rose always wins. That swamp reeks!
Oh! Geralt? By the eternal fire, it's good to see you. I'm here about the notice. I suspected it would interest you. Have you proof of slaying ten drowners? Yes, here are their tongues. Stay, I must record this. Ten drowners. Good. Here's your gold. What, White Wolf? What is it? I can't find Yavin. What happened to him? He left to join other elves in the swamp. Where can I find him? I wouldn't all. In wed streda kemu in ker. They name us squirrels for the tails on our caps. We'll replace those with human scalps anon. First we take Vizima, then the world. What are you looking for? Witcher, you've been busy. A training camp? We must train to fight effectively. Really think this band of warriors can accomplish something? Can a few stones turn into an avalanche? Can an entire city burn down from just one spark? No need to answer. We both know the truth. Hmm. Yes. I have Vivaldi's response. He sends words, not gold. I suspected as much. So my effort was in vain? Quite the contrary, Witcher. Vivaldi either will not or cannot help us. Crucial information regardless. Did he say why he refused? I suppose he advocates peaceful reform. Struggle within the limits of the law. Vivaldi is an intelligent player. Do you really think he believes that possible? Imagine the Temerian gentry and King Foltest returning lands they took from us with fire and sword. Imagine them accepting non-humans as equals. Yes. What are you preparing for? None of your concern, Witcher. 
But you're no fool. Think hard. Perhaps you'll figure it out. An uprising against humans? What if I inform the authorities? Correction. We aim to win the war we're fighting, not start an uprising. And worry about your informing on us? A non-human yourself? Humans will take you no more seriously than they do us. And even if they do listen, we are prepared. So well, in fact, that nothing can stop us. Vizima will burn soon. I hope I'll be far away when it begins. Knowing you, we'll doubtless meet in battle. Question is, which side will you choose? Yaven, I'm a witcher. I was created to protect humans from monsters, whether they have tentacles and scales or walk around on two feet giving lofty speeches. I must admit you amuse me, but I shan't mock you. I'll also refrain from correcting your reasoning. But think how the humans you protect treat you. Do they deserve your loyalty? That's my business, Yaven. Yes. Got more work for me? Hmm. You proved apt at moving around the swamp and performed a favor for us. There is something. I'm listening. I've heard that Knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose have entered the swamp. Those fanatics detest non-humans. They'll come for us sooner or later. What's it to do with me? I'd like you to lead the unit to the Golem Burial Ground, where have Karn await with a weapon shipment. If matters turn dire, I expect you to prevent the unit from dispersing. I'm not sure I want to get involved. I need some time to consider. Humans are intruders. We aim to win back our world. What do you mean? Some of our greatest died combating humans. First when your kind arrived in these lands, then recently when we again concluded we couldn't abide mankind's tyranny. Have you seen fenouet flowers? You couldn't find one because you can't distinguish it from common plants. You're blinded by hatred. I've picked fenouet. Show me. I sense it will be something amusing. You do know Fenoed. I thought wrongly about you. Not entirely. I know few of the local plants. I can describe Burmarigold. Giants froze mid motion. Must have been some time ago. Oh! Geralt? By the eternal fire, it's good to see you. What happened? An Echinops thorn pains me under my grieve. I fear I cannot walk. We were seeking the Golem burial ground. Some fool, may the eternal fire illuminate the darkness of his mind, was ranting on about mosquitoes and golems when the cursed plant shot me with its thorn. Ouch! You should get someone to dress that wound. No time for trivial matters. Elves and hawkers are dealing at the burial ground. My duty was to eliminate the hawkers and the Skyatel, chopping off all the Hydra's heads in one fell swoop. 
Guess the Hydra got a reprieve. It was a direct order from the Grand Master. Help me. I'll appoint you commander of my unit. I'm a Witcher, not a soldier. I believe in you, Geralt. Nothing occurs without cause. The Eternal Fire has given you both honor and responsibility. Don't get excited, Siegfried. We truly need your assistance. All right. I'll lead your knights. I thank you. The Elves and Hawkers are meeting at the Golem Burial Ground. Strike forcefully with confidence. May the Eternal Fire lead you. It might not be a bad idea to imbibe one of your potions. Of course. And one more thing. Who are these Hawkers? Rare criminals who supply weapons to the Skyatel. Their name derives from the Elven word for ravenous greed. Mission accomplished. Return to base. Return to base. Geralt? By the eternal fire! It's good to see you! So I led your knights to the Golem Burial Ground. How did the battle end? Now it's an elven burial ground. Your knights fought well. There were no hawkers, though. The squirrels ambushed us. You'll be rewarded for your dedication. The Order takes care of its friends. I don't doubt that. I'll prove it. I investigated those who attacked us in the sewers. And? They're quite interested in witches. Another appeared in Vizima before you. Berengar. Indeed. I determined he fell into Salamandra's hands. Be careful. They may want you as well. So Berengar is alive. This is getting interesting. Thank you, Siegfried. Friends need to help each other. to listen to Yaren. There are no lords above the water lords. We don't call them brick makers anymore. Now they are our brothers. And we don't say conversion, we say rebirth.
sorry, I got lost in thought. About the tower. Yes? Vasca helped me locate the tower tarot card. It describes how to wake the sentry. Let's see this card. Interesting. Much depends on interpretation, but I think I understand. Alchemists find it easier to understand other alchemists. Enlighten me. The sentry can only be woken if it's near the tower, which it is, and by using a lightning rod. A lightning rod? The drawing depicts a man in a crown, a reference to King Herman the Mad. Who's Herman the Mad? Herman used to ascend a tower during storms and insult the guards. A hostile faction carried out a coup by removing the lightning rod from the tower. An interesting story. You'll need a device that attracts and conducts lightning. Put plainly, a solid metal rod. A good smith should be able to forge one for a decent price. What next? Yes, we'll need a thunderstorm, but I have no idea how to make Mother Nature cooperate. I'll think of something. When you have everything, attach the lightning rod to the sentry. Energy from the lightning bolt will revive the golem. What next? No idea, but you'll manage. If you kill the golem, you'll be able to make a rare potion requiring his heart. Here's the formula. We'll see. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. See ya. What do you need? Show me your wares. I cannot. You don't come recommended and we only serve our own and friends. See ya. Need something? Will you sell me your wares? I only serve friends and those who come recommended. I won't have my goods used against non-humans. Farewell. Need anything? Can you make a lightning rod? What's that? A long metal rod. Should have said. But no, I'm a swordsmith and devote my time to the order. What if I give you a donation to the order? Say, 70 orans? Very well. Come back later. I can't start just now. It's gonna be so muddy. What a downfall! <laughs> So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Can you get me inside the cemetery? I could do anything, but I don't feel like it. How can I convince you? This damn investigation is getting tiring. Prove me innocent. You gamble? I'm an absolutely great poker player. Why? Care to play? Got balls enough? Try me. Better believe I fucking will, even now.
hell with it. So what'll it be? We doing some ploughing business? Drinking with you is a fucking treat. I'll show you something interesting, though I shouldn't. I found a book, Redanian Intelligence, a history. Everybody thought this damned scroll had disappeared. So what'll it be? We doing some ploughing business? See me. Ready for the autopsy? Let's get started. We'll begin in a minute. <laughs> Race, human. Gender, male. Wounds, extensive. Shani, this isn't a lecture hall. Whatever you say, he died yesterday, torn to pieces. A werewolf? The moon's shining. Wouldn't he turn into a lycanthrope? I guess. Geralt, no need to test me. I'm a professional. Moving on. Could a human have inflicted these wounds? Only with a two-foot jaw. The bone marrow has been sucked out. Must be scavengers. 
Very likely. Plenty around the cemetery. So, he was torn to pieces after he died. I'm interested in the cause of death. I also see some stab wounds. A blade... two fingers wide. What do you think it means? Nothing. Anyone can cut somebody up like that. External signs aren't everything. His neck muscles and palms look tense. How do you know when he died? Normally I base it on muscle stiffness and dehydration, but rigor mortis is persisting for too long. They say successful autopsies are based on curiosity. Should we look? Let's check his internal organs. The symptoms are peculiar, and the cause of death, too. Those wounds are too obvious. I suspect something more. Poison? If so, a rare sort. Perhaps an alchemist's brew? Kolkstein? Ah! Liver's completely cirrhotic. It was obviously a potent poison. This stinks of alchemy. This is too easy. Life can be simple sometimes. Are you certain poison is the only explanation for the unusual rigor mortis? The most likely cause. I have a sinking feeling there's more to this. We can try the coroner's last resort, opening the skull. Opening the skull, always a pleasure. See that in the brain? Larva of the Zeracanian tsetse fly. But how did they get in his brain? It's part of their development cycle. If we were in Zeracania, I'd say a fly crawled up his nose and laid its eggs. We're in Tamaria. Our climate is too cold and dry for the tsetse fly. Even if someone brought eggs, how would they get up his nose? What do these eggs look like? Tiny, white, like flour. Or fistek. Geralt, I gave him Fistek before he died. He was suffering terribly, and we had no other anesthetics. I thought it was safe. Where did you get it? From your friend, the detective. He told me it was from special stock. Raymond. Then we have a problem. He added eggs to the Fistek, then came here at night to fake the other evidence. That doesn't sound like Raymond at all. My medallion vibrates whenever I see him lately. And Zeracania? That's where Azar Javed is from. The real Raymond may no longer be with us. But I saw him just yesterday. Azar's using an illusion, trying to manipulate me. Thanks, Shani. I couldn't have figured it out without you. What will you do now? I'll talk to Kalkstein first. He should help me prepare. Be careful, Geralt. Please don't underestimate Javed. Yes? I have the autopsy results. And? I couldn't conclude anything. How's that? How do I put this? Hmm. I mistook one vial for another and poured some caustic crap on the corpse. We couldn't draw any conclusions from what remained. None? None at all? Not a one. Come on, Raymond. Everyone makes mistakes. I need to think. Come back later. Not now. I got lost in thought. 
I suspected you were working with Javed. You think I lead Salamandra? I'll die laughing! Someone went a long way to implicate you. Oh, so you believe it's not me? Azar wanted me to think you worked for him. I'd never do that! Know why? Why? That madman draws power from fire. It's the element of chaos, uncontrollable by rational thought, the opposite of the order embodied in the other elements. Drawing from fire is dangerous. That's all I need to know. Albedo? Yes, this solution... Hmm... Sorry, I got lost in thought. I know Raymond is the Salamandra leader. Are you sure? Yes, I have irrefutable evidence. Azar killed Raymond and assumed his identity using an illusion. The rogue! What do you intend to do about it? You're better off not knowing. Be careful. He has great power. You must separate him from its source, the element of fire. Lure him to a place where the magical aura is unstable. It would be best if this place were surrounded by the opposing element water. The tower in the swamp. Ideal. You'd stand a chance there. See ya. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? A lot of shadowy people hang around here. Am I a fence? Unfucking believable. But why at night? Will you strut about proudly if you had debts? Be glad they all come to me. If Salamandra's paid their accounts, the city would have toppled long ago. I suppose that could be true. You have contacts among the city guards. Could be valuable to Azar. Damn dangerous times. I need protection from Salamandra, that's why I deal with the guards. So you say. I pay Vincent's halfwits a few coins and they see to my personal safety. I'm done now, see ya. Hmm, believable I guess. I may have just figured this out. We'll see. Let's summarize. I'm really fucking interested. There's nothing to the story. What's your problem? You're no criminal genius, Taller, though you might like to be. So who am I? Some pious priestess's virginity that she lost in a dark alley? A little conniver who buys debts to feel important, to have power over people if only for a moment. That hurt, Geralt. You talk a bundle, but when push comes to shove, you hide under the city guard's bibs. You lack balls. Shut the fuck up. Stop pretending you have principles. You come across the property of a witcher, someone who risks his life for people like you, and what do you do? Tell me. You ignore it. Just more prizes to peddle. You're an insignificant fence, nothing more. That concludes your investigation? I'm almost disappointed. You're not worth my time. The great Geralt has spoken. He lectures, plays the wise one, and I couldn't give a rat's ass. Not being petty, I won't take it personally. All customers lose their wits once in a while. I'll let you in on something. I might have gotten on Azor's bad side once. The bastard lusts after antiques and luxuries, like any savage who makes a corner too. I was once asked to handle an entire transport of that shit. Turned out it was for him. Except, I needed the city guard's help at the time. I tipped Vincent off and they confiscated everything. I've needed even more protection since. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? I've figured out Salamandra. Right. 
I've figured out Javed. Spit it out. Javed is using an illusion to disguise himself as Raymond. The real detective is dead. I have solid proof. Javed's now free to pursue his plans. He wanted me to go after Vincent, Ramsmeet, and Kalkstein. Dog's balls. I don't know what to say. A while longer and he'd have duped us all. How do you want to finish this son of a bitch off? I need to weaken him. Unfortunately, I don't know how. Talk to the men he's after. They might know. Can you get me inside the cemetery? Well, I can do anything. Tell the gravedigger his debt's cleared. He'll piss his pants in gratitude. Thanks. Precious, do you go upstairs? Yes? You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you need? Cherry vodka for dandelion, rosé wine for me, and something for you. I'll try. Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It Any rooms? Five orans.
Need anything? Is the lightning metal rod ready? Yes. Here's 70 orans. Thanks. I'll be sure it goes to a worthy cause. Precious, do you go upstairs? Yes? I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. Drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Farewell. What do you need? I want to get inside the cemetery. City authorities prohibited it. What if Taller cancelled your debts? Is that possible? I bought your debts from him, but you must help me. Here are the keys. Go inside where we lay the fresh ones, but if they kill you, don't return to haunt me. Farewell. Ashes to ashes.
what you need. Here's your key. Learn anything? I found Raymond's body in the crypt. How? Oh, I spoke to him recently. Now I'm sure. The leader of Salamandra, a mage capable of spinning illusions, is masquerading as Raymond. this nice to see you Carmen care to come to a house party anything for you and I'll give you a good price say a hundred orans agreed here's the address all right I'll be there Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. Not now, Siegfried. Listen, Shani is throwing a little party. When? In the evening. Come if you feel like it. I shall certainly attend. Fancy fellas with character. I don't know how princesses imprisoned in towers show their gratitude when they're freed. But I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I'll hold you to your word. <laughs> 